You might be aware that we had the incident at Harbor View where a sealed cesium source was being traded out for a safer way of doing medical blood irradiation treatment and um, the source was breached. I work for the Washington State Department of Health. I'm in the radiological emergency preparedness section. I am the person that does all the outreach to coordinate with all the other agencies. Today's multi-agency um, workshop training. Mainly we work with the 10th Civil Support Team. We work with Washington FBI, Weapons of Mass Destruction Unit out of Seattle, Seattle Fire. We do work with Tacoma and Pierce County Fire. RAP 8, RAP is a Radiological Assistance Program, Region 8. My name is Staff Sergeant Layla Oxford. I'm the 10th Civil Support Team, Operations NCO. We are at Discovery Park in Seattle, Washington and we are conducting an exercise on an accidental radiological release. It's modeled after the 2019 radiological release that occurred at Harborview Medical Center. Blood irradiator was breached accidentally, releasing a cesium-137 salt-like substance, contaminating some of the area that was there. This release of that being breached has never happened in the U.S. As soon as we found out there was a release, um, Seattle Fire Station 10, they were first on scene. Then at that point, I called uh, Commander Watson from the 10th Civil Support Team, and I said, hey, we need help. And they worked alongside Seattle Fire to help decon the 13 people, get them into the hospital, and um, we just told them to secure the site until uh, the Region 8 RAP team came. We responded well in 2019 together. Today we are back here again practicing to refine the process of responding together for an incident, an event of this scale.